what we have sitting on this bench right here is the Hover Air X1. And I've got to tell you, it's pretty cool. It's about the same size as my iPhone. It costs $399 and it weighs 125 grams. It is a flying camera and it's got a three second takeoff from your palm. It's really simple. You basically unfold it, press the on off button. It's got two buttons, an on off button and a mode button, which goes through the paths. And if you press and hold the mode button, it doubles up as an options button. It's got a tiny little battery and it's best if you get get two batteries. Follow is my favorite mode, so I'm gonna show you it straight away. Press the on off button, hold it in your palm, and watch this. So now it's got a little red light, and it's gonna follow me from behind, so come with me. This is no doubt one of the coolest features of this drone, because if you're a vlogger, and you don't wanna play around with a controller, you don't want to play around with a DJI drone, then a flying camera like the Hover Air X1, which is right here behind me, does a really cool job. Now, I'm especially in an area where I'm going to give it a few little tasks. So I'm going up a hill, it's a small hill, and over there I have a few little passageways. Let's see what kind of job it does here. There are a few branches. It's probably not the best place for a drone to go but I've got quite a bit of confidence that it's gonna follow me and it's gonna do a good job so I'm not even gonna turn around but like I said for vlogging you're walking around you want to quickly lift up and show your surroundings talk about where you are and not worry about the drone then this really is quite fantastic at the moment we are filming in 2.7K and it is 30 frames per second. I'm not sure if in the future they're gonna introduce a 25 or a 24 frames per second, but it also has 1080p in 60 and in HDR 30. So it's a pretty cool little drone. And as you can see, it's probably doing quite a nice job. What do you think? Now to stop it, you basically go to it, do this, and it lands, and that's it. Now you can basically press the on and off button and hide it. So there are in total five paths it can follow, plus a custom one, which is basically a dolly mode. You can set it up as a dolly mode, so when you're walking, it's going in front of you. You gotta remember this thing doesn't have sensors so it can hit stuff, but that doesn't really matter because this is, look at it, it is a cage, it's completely caged up. So even if you put your fingers in there, not much is gonna happen. But say we wanna try the orbit. I love orbits. There's something about orbits that I love, but you know, watch this, look. Six meter orbit. Six meter orbit. Hopefully it's not gonna hit that tree right there. And let's have a look what this looks like. I mean. It's got a lot of tricks up its sleeve, it really does. And it's quite windy today, it really is. I'm surrounded by trees, so it's not too bad here. It's not too bad, but um, it's still up against a little bit of wind. I mean, you can see in the trees up there, that there is quite a bit of movement. And I can see just by looking at it, that it's, it's fighting the wind a little bit, but it's still doing a fantastic job. Now, by pressing the actual function the path button on the drone you can change it from six meters to three meters and you can basically change all the options meters so you, you can do a small orbit here so if we do this one, one that's a cute little plane now talking about the plane up there remember this is still a drone so you have to be wary of where you fly it if you're in a restricted zone you can't fly it. I mean, airport, no, no, no. You, you cannot fly in places where you couldn't normally fly a drone. So beware, don't fly it in things like rain. Don't fly it over water, don't fly it in the snow. Basically, you gotta be careful because it doesn't have sensors, so it's very easy to lose. Above water, above water is a big no-no. So we've got bird eye, which is pretty cool. You basically, one thing I would love 
for the Hover Air X1 to get updated is that when it does bird eye, it flies up and I have it so it twists around when it flies up. I would love it that it continues recording all the way because it records up, it stops, and then it records down. I would like that as one continuous recording. And it's funny because five meters, it will go up and then above me. So it kind of, it knows where I am. So look at this. So now it's flown right above me. <laughs> it's a nice day today. I woke up today and it was actually three degrees Celsius. So it was pretty damn cold. And now it's coming back down and it's recording again. And it's not gonna hit me. It's gonna come down just above my head. And then it's gonna move out of the way and continue to land. It's basically a follow me in one place. See, I can walk over here and I can talk and the drone is constantly following me. It's like you have your own cameraman. I mean, this is really, really quite fantastic because I can talk to you about this area, which is a place in Wuch, on in a place called Zdrovia, and it is a paintball and motorbike kind of place. It's really nice. Six zoom out. No, come on, let's zoom out. Nine zoom out. That's more like it. So what, should we do it like here against the, um, the sun? Now, another thing is that you can set all this in the application if you want to. The application will also allow you to use live view and a seventh option, which is fantastic. Meaning that you can control it like a drone on your phone. So you can press forward, back, and you can do some really nice, cool movements with it. Now, once again, doing the zoom out, it records, stops, and then records when it's coming back. It will go 15 miles an hour, right? Now we're gonna do the dolly track. Continue dolly track. Here we go. So it is literally gonna go in front of me. So when I'm here, oh, it's gone down a bit. And now it's gone up a bit. That's pretty cool. I mean, it does a good job. We're gonna try running up this guy. One other thing it has up its sleeve. Okay. So this is a DJI microphone. And now what you're gonna be able to hear is the sound of the microphone from the Hover Air X1. So right now, even if I stand here, my voice may sound a little bit odd and it depends how close I get to it, but the AI technology should be cutting out the sound of those props, which is pretty damn cool. There's a little hole here. I just want to check if it can go through and not crash because it says that it can go in and out of areas and it hasn't got a problem. Now this place is a little bit freaky and if I get killed going in here, at least we have it on video. I'm alive. I better go back to the camera because that's quite a lot of money just sitting there. It's still there. That's good. <laughs> right, so as you can see, it does a pretty good job when it comes to the follow. It's basically following my body and not crashing. Very impressive. And I know the voice may sound a little bit odd, but I mean, it's, it's using some kind of really wild AA technology. One thing I didn't tell you about this drone is that it is a Red Dot 2023 award winner. That means it's pretty damn awesome. Anything that wins a Red Dot is, you know, just wow. Right, we're gonna connect to the preview and we're gonna do some manual flying. Now the manual flying is really cool because you can fly it like a drone 
and you can get some really nice smooth shots without you in them and you know that's that's pretty cool so let's take it off manual control there we go you can connect it to an RC by the way or a virtual key so we're gonna go backwards we are gonna twist this way and we're gonna wait a sec I gotta hold it this way for it to make any sense at all and we're gonna go down Okay. Oh, a little bit too low. Whoa, whoa. Oh, you just went a little bit crazy there. But okay. And now, let's fly it forward. Nice and slow. And see what this looks like. Maybe I can get it down a little bit more. There we go. Now that looks really cool. Now it does use a VOI positioning system. Like I said, it doesn't need any GPS. It doesn't have any compass calibration. I can bank left. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Wow. Max flight distance, right. So that, that is as far as it can go over there. And now it is coming back to us. And there we are. So yeah, like I said, I mean, it's got a whole load of really cool options for a 399 flying camera, the Hover Air X1. Does a really, really cool job. And as you can see, I mean, this this is my, I don't know if you guys could see that. I'm definitely gonna show you the screen recording. It does a really nice job. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, I'm sure I've written all the specs somewhere around this video. I've done a little bit of unboxing so you can see it there. But that right there, that's the Hover Air. Next one. Now, if, oh, by the way, if it hits you, not much happens. Right, before I end the film, I saw this path and it is really narrow. Look at that. Let's see if the drone can follow me down that path because that is uh, insanely low. Continue. Right, let's go. I'm pretty sure it's gonna hit something because if it doesn't, I'm really surprised. I mean, look how narrow this is. Where is it? I'm not even gonna look back because I'm a little bit worried that it could crash, but <laughs> it is it is such a narrow path. I mean, it's pretty cool. Look at this. Where is it? Hey, it's, it's doing a good job. And I mean, this is really narrow. Let's Let's speed it up a little. This looks like um, out of Blair Witch. Oh, there's some close branches there. Oh, went right past them. No way. Oh, 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 oh. That, that, ladies and gentlemen, is very impressive. For a drone or a flying camera that has absolutely no idea where it is. It has no sensors. This thing, wow. I'm gonna go back into this little part that I didn't want to go to because it looked like it's way too narrow. But um, let's see what it does. Is it still behind me? Is it still there? Oh, it stopped. I'm here. Come. They found me again. Okay. Right. That is very impressive. It stopped, but it found me because it does have a find me option after it loses you. Ah. Hover Air X1. Let's get to the end of this um, this path and call it a day. Like I said, comments, questions, everything down below.